Hello everyone, the title of this video is The Parable of the Sower. Sower. The hard path, rocky path, thorny, and the rich soil. Before we start off, uh, let us pray first. Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for your message for all of us. I help I hope the viewers will understand your message by opening up their hearts to you. Even when they don't understand, but they want to understand by seeking you more and more. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Okay, the first soil is the hard soil which you see on the your left side where that lady has a purple sweater it's called an unbeliever or unbelief Christian are those who don't understand God's teaching for them so the devil steals their faith in God this means that they were going to have faith because God planted the seed in their heart. But because they did not understand God's message, the devil stole the seed of God. Why? Because they lack understanding. Because lack of rebuke in their life and they refused to be taught by God. They ignored God's laws so they can do their will. So, pretty much these people, they didn't understand God's will. It's because they gave up in seeking the Lord. Just because they didn't understand, they say, oh, well, it's not for me, uh, that's wrong, I'm not going to live it. That's not how we should live. What we need to do is, when we don't understand, then pray about it. Pray to Jesus Christ and ask Him, help me to understand. Give me wisdom and understanding. Not to be like this woman in the purple sweater has a very nasty face really hates the message don't hate the message of God be like a humble child willing to be corrected willing to be taught okay so the next soil is the rocky soil it is a believer who refuses to let God teach it and or they don't study God's will enough to transform them. It hears the word of God and it is happy, so it accepts it. But they couldn't do what they have learned. In result, God couldn't transform them. When persecution and trouble comes because they follow Jesus Christ, they give up following him. So in this type of soil, it represents this male who has an orange sweater. He or these people, they're not teachable because they think they know a lot of things already. They know the Bible. They uh, have a pastors who teaches them. They don't need Jesus Christ to directly teach them. You see, they limit God because of what they think God is. So you need to surrender your will and give up your ways of thinking that God is this, that he should be like this. No, 
You need to be like a humble child, willing to be taught and corrected. Then you will grow. Okay. Next is a thorny soil. These are worldly believers. So if you can see this um, woman in the green sweater is the thorny soil. They hear God's message, but they constantly worry. They are distracted due to pleasures of the world and the love of money that stops them from growing. So they don't bear fruit. So many people, many believers, they worry about so much. And I'm not saying I wasn't like that. I was a worrier. In fact, I can tell you I could have I'm a master in worrying. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit guided me. The more I seek God's kingdom and His righteousness, the more I understood how God works in my life and how He loves me very much and He provides everything I need. I don't need to worry. In fact, Jesus Christ said, those who worry are unbelievers. If you have made Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to worry about anything. Everything is already taken care of. All you need to do is follow Jesus Christ. Wherever He tells you to go, whatever He tells you to do, just obey Him. Leave the results to Him. He wants you to trust Him. Now, some people, they get distracted with worldly things. They like to go to places, and they love to party, they love to eat. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't eat the foods that you like, or go to places that are nice, but don't let it be more in a desire in your heart than seeking Jesus Christ and His kingdom and His righteousness. Many people seek that so much that they have abandoned God. And that is where Satan has legal right to torment us because you left God. How can Father God bless you and protect you when you leave Him, just like the prodigal son? He left, he left his father. His father wanted to protect him, but he respected his free will. God respects your free will. But you have to come back to Him so that He can protect you and bless you. And those believers who love money they cannot be blessed by God they cannot be fruitful because as we know in the Bible money is the root of all evil you cannot serve God and serve money you need to give up one or the other so and in fact, when you serve Jesus Christ with all your heart and you obey Him, you repent and you leave your needs to Him. He knows your needs. Money will come. He will provide money out of nowhere. People can say, oh, I, God told me to give this to you. And you'll be like, well, I, this is what I need to pay my bill. So stop worrying. Stop chasing after money. Many believers, they love money because they want to have more because they have a lot of plans in their life to build this and build that and to go to this place. And it's nice 
to go to places. It's nice to build things. But the thing is, you lost your time and your energy in spending worldly things rather than spend your time being with Jesus Christ. Because you're not going to live here for 200 years or 300 years. You have a certain limit on earth. So make use of it. Many people live worldly ways. And then when they die, when they're in their deathbed, they say, I wish I spent more time with Jesus Christ. Because I tell you the truth, in heaven, when you get to heaven, there are many believers who have a house there. And the reason why they have houses is because they obeyed Jesus Christ. Remember what Jesus Christ said that I will come back and prepare I'm preparing you things in heaven. So when it's prepared, I will bring come back on earth and take you with me. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Is your treasure here on earth or is your treasure in heaven? Where there is no robbers, there is no Satan who will try to kill, steal, and destroy it. Do you see that? So keep your focus on heaven. And the last soil is the rich soil, which you see the happy guy with the yellow sweater. He is filled with a lot of harvest these are God's children they hear the word they understand it and they let God teach them and when they are taught they obey him and in result it causes them to grow and spiritually mature they produce lots of fruits and that is what God's will for us when we truly obey Jesus Christ follow him repent and seek his kingdom and his righteousness we will have a smile on our face just like that that young man because we please Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ will say well done my good and faithful servant come now in heaven and enjoy the life that I have given you for eternity do you like that life do you like that Jesus Christ will say well done my good and faithful servant if you do, then obey Him. Obedience is the highest form of worship. Remember that. So that is the end of this video. It's quite long, but it's gonna help you understand who are you right now. Now, let me remind you, just because say you are the rocky soil doesn't mean you'll be like that forever no you can change you can repent of your sins you can turn back to God you still have time but you have to do your part Jesus Christ is willing to help you he loves you he doesn't want you to be in that rocky soil lifestyle and he doesn't want you to be angry that you don't understand his will. But it's you who have to come back to God. It's just like the prodigal son. He came back to his father, humbling himself and asking forgiveness. And Father God will give you back everything you 
had before because the devil stole it from you because you ran away from God now he wants you to come back and he will bless you that's how much he loves you so that is the end of this video I hope you guys learned something and you can use it in your daily life and then share it to others share it to everyone so hope hoping by this message more people will come to Jesus Christ and become a disciple not a follower a disciple who obeys him till death who loves him no matter what happens to them they will give up their life for Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ gave up his life for us that is the end of the video may heavenly father god holy spirit and lord jesus christ give you the love peace wisdom and understanding of jesus christ in your mind and heart every day of your life in jesus christ's name